An ad for this product is going around on YouTube. Does the item look as good as it does in the picture or is it a catfish? Hey guys, welcome to another video. A good indicator of a catfish is that many stores sell the same product. An internet secret is that many independent, small, online retail stores don't have any inventory. They don't manufacture their own products. When you go on their website and you buy from them, they go on cheaper websites like AliExpress or Wish. Purchase the items from there. Put in your shipping address directly in there and have it shipped directly from China to you. In this video, we're going to run this item through the catfish test and see if this item is legit or it's a catfish. Let's get started. So first let's download the image. Click on Google image search. Come to upload an image. Scroll down to choose file. I have it right here. Let's upload this. Now here we see some results already. It's on Pinterest, so let's open that. Let's open this fantasy, interesting name on Amazon. Let's open this Pinterest. Another Pinterest with three different colors, but those are no stores, so let's ignore Pinterest a little. Let's come to this one, Floyd Dime. Go on to the next page. Kiss meeting. Gullivine. Some more Pinterest. Let's go here. We have Eric Grass. A common catfish store. Best tries. Working lock. Let's open that. And on tied by, let's do this last. All right. So let's take a look at these. See what they have there. So let's see here. Kiss meeting has this for thirty three dollars. This is it on Eric dress sold here for forty two dollars. So we have two different prices from two different stores. This is an error message. Let's check this one. This is $50 here. This is Vogue is us. This chick, chico boy, chick, well, this website has it here for $51, the same item. So now we've seen three or four items, three or four stores that have the same item. I know Yomi Fashion will have it for $46. So let's then go on AliExpress. This is an indicator that this item is likely gotten on AliExpress. Let's go on AliExpress and see if we can find the item there. So let's come directly on AliExpress. And I'll just use a cheat here because I've checked this already before. Let's just go there and see if we can find it here. Here we go. So this is the same item sold on all those stores found on AliExpress. Again, many of these stores, the reason you find it on these stores for higher for $50, $51 here, $50 here, $33 here is because they end up coming here on AliExpress, purchase it from here and ship it directly to the customer. So on AliExpress here, it's $27. On AliExpress also, you'll find many stores within AliExpress selling the same item. So it could be higher, slightly higher, or slightly less than this in other stores. But on this store, you have it here for $27. The good thing about this store is you can see the detailed images here. So this may be worth $30, right? Let's take a look at one of the images. So this is the inside here, some kind of fleece. Now, take a good look at this. This may be good for $27. If you bought this for $25, you wouldn't feel ripped off. But for $50, $60, 
you wouldn't feel as great buying this quality of an item. Take a good look at the details here. This is the sales picture here, more vibrant and looks more quality. This on the other hand, looks less vibrant in color and the fabric looks less quality, less soft. This is another image of the item. Look at the details here. The sweater here is already peeling. And if you find peels already on it, then the sweater is not gonna last long. Here are other images. And this is more details here. Let's see what others think. These are the same images. And here they complain of the size as well, but this store hasn't sold too many of these items. So it's possible other stores are better when it comes to sizing. On marinia.com it's $51. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share this video. Many people find these videos after they've purchased the items. By that time it's already too late for them to get a refund. It's more of a hassle to get a refund than to just receive and accept the product. So please, if you found this video helpful, share the video. And if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.